So hi everybody, today's webinar is about online yoga. Your body exists in the past and your mind exists in the future. In yoga, they come together in the present. <clears throat> Introduction. What is yoga? Yoga is a form of exercise which focuses on the physical, mental, and spiritual aspects of a person. Originating from ancient India as a form of worship, it has now become a common physical activity for millions of people around the world, as well as a tool to achieve inner peace. Why can yoga be beneficial to seniors? Some of the benefits of yoga for seniors is that it gets you moving, it can improve your heart health, boosts metabolism, helps in lowering blood sugar, help strengthen the immune system, and relieve stress. It also increases bl blood flow, improves lung function, improves posture, flexibility, and boosts metabolism, as well as helps to sleep better. Why seniors should consider yoga? Yoga is a great way to relieve stress as it focuses on the peace of mind and body. Yoga improves sleeping habits and is shown to lower stress as well. It has a lot of health benefits. Many people around the world use yoga and meditation as means of relieving stress and soreness and improving health, flexibility, and mental wellness. Types of yoga. Hatha yoga. This is the most recommended form of yoga for beginners. It focuses on stretching and breathing rather than increasing your heart rate. Iyengar yoga. This focuses on proper form in which people use exercise props such as straps, bolsters, blocks, and incline boards. This type is recommended for seniors with arthritis. Restorative yoga, a slow form of yoga which is practiced by meditating without stretching. This is best for someone with limited mobility to help relax and de-stress. Yin yoga. Similar to restorative yoga, it is slow and gentle. You are meant to hold poses for an extended period of time. Unlike restorative yoga, yin yoga requires stretching and the connective tissues. Daily yin yoga can help improve stiffness and enhance flexibility. Kundalini yoga, also known as the yoga of awareness. This form of yoga combines spiritual, physical postures and breathing exercises, as well as meditation. So where can you do online yoga? There are many ways to do yoga online. For example, you can video call your friends and do yoga together, or search on YouTube for simple yoga tutorials if you are a beginner. Yoga is a great way to get active without doing any heavy workouts. It is enjoyable and very easy. Yoga YouTubers is one way to do yoga online. Yoga with Adrian is a YouTube channel with all sorts of playlists and has different time options to fit your schedule. Her playlists include monthly playlists and her yoga practices by time length, ranging from under 10 minutes to 60 minutes. Adrian has many different yoga lessons depending on your mood and ability. You can find sessions such, such as morning wake up yoga, yoga to reconnect with yourself and yoga for core strengthening. If you want to access even more lessons, check out her paid downloadable courses at this link. So the image on the right is a screenshot of her yoga channel showing some of the videos that she has. Yoga playlist on YouTube. So the link right here is a playlist of, of a bunch of beginning yoga for seniors as shown on the right. This playlist includes videos on beginner yoga for seniors so that you do not have any trouble getting started. It also includes chair yoga, which makes it easier for seniors to do. The Daily Yoga app. Daily Yoga is a free app for yoga and can be downloaded on iOS and Android. You can sign up with your Apple ID, Facebook, and or email. There is a paid version with a monthly free fee. Within the app, you can set a schedule to your liking. 
there are different free videos that you can watch and do yoga with. This app offers calorie count and relaxing meditation music. There are also sets of workouts that one can do. Next, we will be talking about the Do With Me yoga website. So the website is linked um, on this slide. This yoga website is a website where you can sign up for free or get the paid membership. This website offers all kinds of videos and tutorials for beginners. You can also use the search bar to search for a yoga video to your liking. There are programs for everyone of all ages. If you want to challenge yourself, there are yoga challenges for anybody to do. All the videos are pre-recorded and you can take a break anytime you want. Do Yoga With Me YouTube channel. Do Yoga With Me also has a YouTube channel in which they offer different kinds of yoga playlists, such as different kinds of yoga, yoga challenges for seven to 14 days, and yoga workouts sorted by time length from 10 to 60 minutes of workouts. Now we would like our special guests, Nehal and Nirain Pandya, to say a few words about online yoga and demonstrate some senior friendly poses. Okay. Hello friends. Hello. I'm Nirain. I'm Nehal. We have been doing yoga for over two decades. I started yoga as a child in India, learning with the BKS Iyengar tradition of yoga. In this method of yoga, we use simple household uh, things like a chair, a short stool, a uh, wall, floor to get you into the proper alignment. So, to describe yoga to you in five minutes is like describing the ocean in five minutes. It is a very deep and infinite subject and it is an eightfold path where each level of yoga practice is designed to uplift and culture the human being in their social behavior individual behavior, physical exercise, breathing techniques, concentration, meditation, and finally towards self-realization. So you can imagine that such a vast subject that has been around for over 5,000 years cannot be described in five minutes. It would be like describing the ocean and saying that there are waves on the surface of the water. But there is a vastness to the ocean that needs a deep study, that needs a regular study to understand. Now, this subject of yoga is also a subject of practical experience. It is not a subject that can be uh, experienced by watching on TV or by looking at videos or reading books. It is a subject when a person begins, needs an experienced person to guide them so that the subject can be practiced safely and without causing any injuries. In our tradition of Iyengar Yoga, we are trained for about 10 years before we become qualified teachers. And even after we become qualified teachers, there are levels of teaching. So it is a lifelong learning. There is a hierarchy of teachers who mentor us, guide us, and train us on our journey. In one Iyengar Yoga class, there are all kinds of people with different abilities, different health conditions, but the teacher has the experience to give the right amount of uh, exploration and adaptation so that each person, no matter what their condition, gets the optimum benefit of the pose. I'm going to show you a few poses which can be done 
for your overall health. Please remember, friends, these days there is a misconception that one pose is good for your hips, one pose is good for your shoulders. There is nothing like that. If you do the pose completely with good guidance from an experienced teacher, you can address any physical issue, any mental issue, or any emotional issue in one pose. So, to give you an example, rice is enjoyed as a meal in many cultures, but every culture eats rice differently. But the rice remains the same. Similarly, the asana is so complete that it can be adapted to suit any condition, any need, any uh, medical condition can be addressed. So let us begin by observing a few poses which we have selected for you, which you can very safely uh, practice. First pose we are going to begin is a reclining pose, which is called Supta Padangushtasan. Supta means to lie down and Padangushtasan is to lift your leg up. So Neha will be doing the demonstration. You can see that this is a very easy pose where your spine is completely settled on the floor and due to the flat surface, the spine gets the support, the alignment and then you can straighten the leg holding a strap and position the leg. You can begin with one leg bent and then gradually straighten the leg towards the floor. It is very crucial that you attach this leg towards the outer hip. It is not uprooting the leg, it is connecting the leg to the root of the leg. This is the root of the leg. The next pose I am going to show you is downward dog pose, which is a most popular pose. It is known as Adho Mukha Shwanasan and it can be safely done with this position. Now, this appears very easy when somebody is doing it, but when you will do it, you will realize that it is, it demands a lot of effort to keep your legs straight, to keep this side body moving up, to keep the armpit chest open and to stabilize here, it takes effort. So, so if somebody is not able to do it, we can make that person do the pose without any chair that you may have. All you have to do is practice this way. It will give you the same benefit. Now the beauty about this pose is that it is also an inversion. So if you can see the head is going down and that way you get a, a fresh supply of blood and oxygen to the brain which invigorates it. It is also a fantastic pose for the heart. Come up. The next pose we are going to show you is Uttanasana. Uttanasana. Touch the floor with the hands. Now you will say, I am not able to do this. It is very possible for any amount of stiffness to do this pose with the hands on the brick uh, or a stool. Or if even this is not possible, you can very easily do this pose in a half version. So we are going to show you the use of the wall. You can see that you can walk back slightly. I'm just going to shift the camera for you so you can see how it looks like from the side. Half Uttanas. These are all poses that will help you with your sciatica pain. It will help you open up your legs, extend your spinal muscles, and you will feel the benefits. Now, the next pose I'm showing to you is 
वीरभद्र आसन टू और वॉरियर टू सो यू डोंट हैव टू जंप इफ यू हैव नी इश्यूज हिप इश्यूज यू कैन इजीली जस्ट स्प्रेड योर लेग्स अपार्ट एंड गो फॉर स्क्वाटिंग एक्शन दिस इज वॉरियर टू फ्रॉम हियर नेहल इज गोइंग टू मूव इन टू त्रिकोण आसन और द ट्राइंगल पोज नाउ if you say that i am not able to touch the floor you can very easily take a stool this is a stool from ikea which is less than 2 dollars or 5 dollars i think very easily you can take support if somebody is unstable for example the person has balance issues this pose can be very comfortably practiced against the wall completely touching your back to the wall and supporting yourself and rolling your entire body towards the wall so that your chest remains open your pelvic frame remains open and you can get the extension and connection now we are showing you baddha konasan i am going to show you some lying down poses so that because people get very happy when they see lying down poses they they feel oh this is very nice by the way i am going to disappoint you by uh, because some of the things that were mentioned in the presentation that yoga is very easy the thing is easy please don't think that it is an easy subject i am only showing you very simple poses but if you really look at the practice it demands a lot of study and a lot of body uh, and mind involvement nothing is easy okay so please don't enter any subject thinking it is a very easy subject before it becomes easy you have to toil you have to work but that work has very rich rewards so as you can see she is lying down now i am going to do something for her to give a beautiful shape to the chest which will change the breathing completely so i will just insert a normal pillow under her back like this and you will see this simple pillow or cushion completely changes the chest opening as you can see now the chest appears like a dome shape the abdomen is soft the pelvic body is spread because of the opening of the inner thighs and the exhalation moves very smoothly towards the legs and the inhalation enters very smoothly towards the upper regions of the lungs so it is not about just sitting and breathing what are you breathing into you are breathing into your chest into your lungs if your chest is collapsed if your shoulders are sunken and your entire posture is heavy how can the breath enter that body it is like saying that you are trying to fill 10 liters of water in a vessel which has only 1 liter capacity so first you have to make the vessel ready to receive the breath this is your vessel the body is the vessel in which the breath enters so if you can't lift the chest you cannot open you cannot create space in the ribs how can the breath fill that space i hope that you got i was given only 5 minutes i hope you got some idea about this subject and it will interest you if you have any questions you are always welcome to reach us in the information about this session there will be a link to the website there will be an email address for you to reach us and we also have a youtube channel which very safely shows people how they can practice but i really suggest if you have never done yoga please don't think it is something you can try on your own by looking at some video find teachers within your community who are teaching online and who you can carry on your practice with in the future in person because that is what will really be helpful Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you. Take care.